Well, good afternoon, good morning, or good night, or what, whatever it is where you are. My bestie bestie here is going to make the most delicious apple pie I've ever had in my life while I'm visiting here. And so I'm going to film her doing it because it really is the absolute best pie. And she makes it from scratch. She makes the crust from scratch. She chops up the apples and does all that herself. And so here she is, Miss Jan. Hi! <laughs> well, the first thing you have to do is make a beautiful crust. So we're gonna make a beautiful crust. So I have a pie crust recipe that is my favorite. So that's the one that I'm going to make right now. Well, I think if the blinds come down though, no, you may not be. like. No, it's a bit that's fine. Oh, good. Yeah, that worked out. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. All right, very good. Okay, so my recipe calls for three cups of all-purpose flour. And I just go into the container I've got the flour in, I fluff it up a little bit. Then it calls for a teaspoon and a half of salt. So I just measure that out. And then it calls for two tablespoons of sugar. The morena. Mm -hmm. um, that's, yeah, that's what I brought. I'm just gonna Mix that up just a little bit, bit with a fork. And then it's going to call for a cup and a fourth of shortening. I um, measured these out already. I am using lard. Um, if you want a really nice, crisp, I didn't mean to say crisp, I mean to say flaky um, pie crust, lard is a really fine choice. Um, this, you can also just use Crisco. Um, sometimes I make this with Crisco, but I like the lard. And you can find lard, also nowadays, you can find lard that's been processed from hogs that have not had antibiotics and growth hormones and stuff like that. Oh, for the love of Pete. <laughs> then you need to take a pastry cutter and cut, this is my groovy old one from the antique store. And you wanna cut that lard into that flour. And this, this is this is the most work you're gonna do on this, is this right here. Clean it off. Okay, and once you have it all looking like just crumbles. This is how you want it to look. Then you're going to take a measuring, just take a measuring cup. I have already added one tablespoon of white vinegar. And then you're going to add six tablespoons of cold water. And then you're going to add one egg to this mixture. And then you want to beat that egg just a little bit. You're going to just add this into that flour mixture. Just start it nice and low. You don't want to overwork this and make your dough tough. So when it starts clumping up like that, you want to, oh, oh. <laughs> I don't have any idea what I'm doing. Um, you want to push it off there. Look at it, look at the bottom of the bowl. Everything's picked up off the bottom of the bowl. So I just wanna give it another turn or two. And then I'm going to clean this beater. I'm gonna let this dough sit for about 10 minutes. I'm going to peel the apples. What kind of apples do you use? The ones that I uh, got um, this morning over at the grocery store were honey crisps mm -hmm. because I had read something online about Honeycrisp's making a mighty fine pie. Here's our dough. We're gonna leave it for 10 minutes and I'm gonna peel apples. I peeled and sliced, I think that was six Honeycrisp apples. Could have been five. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna put some fresh lemon juice and there's a big old seed. 
just a couple of really good firm squeezes. I'm going to do a half cup of sugar, and then I think I'll add... There's the oven heating up. I got a half a cup of sugar. Oh, and I preheated the oven to 400 because that's where you're going to want to make your pie. And then I'm just going to throw in... They were Honeycrisp apples. That's, that's like almost two, two more tablespoons. It might end up being a little sweeter than we want it to be. I don't know. Um, we're going to put in maybe three-fourths of a, table, a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and my favorite little spice in the cupboard is ground clove and anytime I use cinnamon I always put in some clove so this is a fourth and I'm gonna put a little dash back so that was a little less than a fourth of a teaspoon this also called for two tablespoons of flour because you want your thickener Oh, it smells wonderful. So those apples can get some sugar and get coated. We'll be back in a second and we'll roll out that crust. So this is the pastry cloth. Makes rolling a lot easier. I'm not making a huge pie. I'm just gonna make this little pie, pie thingy here, pie plate. Are your hands clean? Yes, I just washed them <laughs> after I cleaned up my mess. <laughs> Smarty. <laughs> okay. I like this rolling pin. It's my favorite. It's nice. I like the pastry cloth because you can move it and your dough just cooperates with you. I never. I do not make a pretty pie. But Leslie never complains. Mm mm. It's delicious. I thought it was always pretty. Well, it's pretty enough, but it's not, you know, I am not Martha Stewart, let's <laughs> face it. I would rather have a big giant hunk of pie dough with a little bit of filling left on the sides then have the piece of pie with the filling. I just want the dough. Oh, see, I'm opposite. Yeah, see. I want the filling with a little bit of pie crust. Yeah. But I'm closing up all the, anything that might be a potential tear. That just makes your pie icky. Okay. That was really not a good shot at pie dough. <laughs> and then we're going to try to cram 10 pounds of sugar in a five pound sack right here. You got this beautiful juice coming out. Oh, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. There's still more in the bowl though. Yeah. I'm just gonna dot a little bit of butter on it. Because you can never go wrong with a little bit of butter on anything. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. So now we're going to make this top one and I'm not going to be so stingy. When you when you finish making this pie dough, if you're not ready to make a pie, you want to do this ahead of time, you can take, it'll make three good size balls and you can put them in the freezer, wrap them up, put them in the freezer. You can leave them out on the countertop to thaw and you can make your pie um, with this. It, freezes and, and thaws beautifully and I like making pot pies in the winter with them and you can make a pot pie with just a top crust so that you can cheat a little on your diet and not have the bottom crust. So I think this size little ball right here I think that's going to be almost more than we need. And I like big fat ropes of pie dough on my edges of my pies. I just do because I prefer the crust. So I'm just going to clean this up just a hair. Okay, 
because I want to put a nice big fat rope on it. we aren't going to know what to do with it. <laughs> That's my favorite part. I don't make pretty pies, but they taste good. Amen, sister. I'd be much better at this in the morning if you'd let me get a good night's sleep. Hey. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that sloppy looking thing. Oh, you can't put this on the internet. <laughs> this looks like some eight-year-old kid made it. <laughs> One, two, three. And we are going to put this in a 400 degree oven for 50 minutes. I'm gonna check it and see how nice and brown it is. And if it's not as brown as I want it to be, I'll let it go five more minutes. But 50 to 55 minutes is what this will All right, is. it's been 50 minutes and this delicious pie is done. And we're gonna let it cool down and then we will slice it up and have a delicious piece of it probably tomorrow because it's bedtime right now. The next okay. morning and we are going to have a piece of pie. <laughs> you can just cut mine as big as you want. Cut yours as big as I want? Oh my gosh. That nice ropey <laughs> crust. You said as big as I wanted. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I could eat. I could eat. It's got fruit. It's got an egg in the crust. Mm -hmm. Protein. Yeah. A little calcium in there. Oh yeah. Mm. Here's oh, a bunch of your bottom. goodies in the bottom. Mm. All right. <laughs> Pretty good. You can definitely taste those cloves. Mm hmm. She doesn't want me to film her because it's the first thing in the morning. <laughs> Very good. Very good recipe. And I'll put the ingredients in the um, comment section. Thank you.